To spice up your animatics, you have the opportunity to do actual animation in Storyboard Pro. And when we animate in Storyboard Pro, we're animating layers, not objects. So the first thing you want to do is make sure whatever it is you want to animate, you put on its own layer. I have a scene here where Lenny is getting taken off into the distance by his bird Spot. And I have it spread out over three panels, but I'd like to show it animate on the second panel instead of just being a single shot. So right now you can see that if I go along the timeline that it just jumps from one position to the other. Now make sure that you're in the timeline workspace. Anytime that you have to do something that has to do with uh, movement or time, you'll want to be working with a timeline that you'll find in the timeline workspace. All right, here is the panel that I'm gonna want the animation in. And first thing I will do is I like to draw a guide so that I can have some idea about what the path is going to be. The first thing I always do is to make sure that you're on the first frame of the panel, or if you're on the frame that you want the action to start at. To get on the first frame, you can come up here to this toolbar and click first frame. Second is to enable the animation for the layer that you're on. The way that you can do that is by clicking the little icon that's a man. And once you click it, the man turns yellow and he's in a running position. So that indicates that animation is enabled for this layer. Third is to come over here to your toolbar and we're going to use the layer transform tool. The next thing we'll, we'll do is position the character where we want him to be when he starts the animation. In this case, I've already done that. So once I know the start position is working, then I add a keyframe there by clicking on keyframes, add keyframe in the tool properties panel. So I've added the first keyframe. The next thing we'll do is go to the last frame on this panel using the last frame tool. And now that I know I'm on the last frame, I wanna reposition this character to where I want this character to be on the last frame. So now this is the pivot for the character. And in this case, I like to reposition the pivot so that it's right on the character. It helps me uh, to see what I'm doing a bit better. So the way to reposition that pivot is to click over here on center pivot on selection. And now it'll make it a bit clearer what the path is going to be. So I take him and to reposition him, you wanna make sure that these controls are enabled, otherwise you may not be able to move him or rotate him or scale him. And when I have the crosshairs, I can now move him to a new position. And I wanna resize him too, because he's going to get smaller as he goes into the distance. So up here in this upper right-hand corner, I'm going to scale him. I will hold the Shift key down and drag toward the center and until he gets very small and now I'll stop. So now he has a start position and an end position. And now I can check that by scrubbing through the layer and I can see him moving. But I can also see that he's not in an arc and I want him to be in an arc. So I need to add another keyframe to help me get the arc in this case. Before I add that third keyframe, I just want to play this panel and see how it's looking so far. So I select the panel and I'll come up here to the playback toolbar and click on play selection. And I already have looping uh, enabled too. So when I play the selection, he's going in the right direction at the right size. But in addition to putting in the arc, I want to make this last a little bit longer. It goes way too fast. So what I'm going to do first is to change the duration of this panel. Right now, it's one second. You can see that by clicking on the border. So I'm going to stretch this out quite a bit to like two and a half seconds. And now I will test it again. And that's a pretty good speed. I like the way that that looks. So to stop the playback, I just click it again. So that's good. At about the halfway point of this action, 
I want him to be a lot further along because he's moving faster at the beginning. So at about the halfway point of the duration, this is where I want to add another keyframe. You can add the keyframe any place that you want to, but in this case, this is right for me. So I will reposition him along that arc. And just by moving him, it actually has added another keyframe. So I'll go back to the beginning and press the play selected again. And that just works out perfectly. I'm very happy with the way that that looks. Let's take a look over in the drawing workspace to see what the thumbnails look like now. 